Good morning. Welcome to Morning Moments. I have today uh, a special guest that is a another singer, songwriter, recording artist. Uh, what a what a wonderful, beautiful woman in the Lord, uh, Jessica Horton. Welcome to Morning Moments. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> you you seem to be always on the road. You're in a car right now, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tell me, Jessica, what do you do and why do you do it? So, uh, you know, you, you asked probably one of the most difficult questions. It's so easy to answer questions like, where are you going to be next? Or what's, you know, what project is baking in the oven? But the, the question of what do I do and why do I do it is really hard to answer because um, you have to dig really deep and, and find the right answer for that. And, um, but, you know, I really think that that's important because if you don't know why you do something, then it's so easy to get sidetracked and derailed and discouraged. And um, it's so easy to allow the enemy to take you off course if you don't know your why. So um, when you told me we were doing this interview, I had to really think about it and make sure I really understood my why. But what I do is I'm a singer songwriter um, and I like to record uh, I like to perform. I like to be on cool stages and, and make cool music. I do classic country and gospel. And um, I have done that since I was a small child. I've always done country and gospel. And I remember when I was three, my granddad, he put me up on a tabletop in a restaurant and had his guitar and would have me sing in. And so I've been doing it for a really, really long time. And so the easy answer to that question would be, uh, well, it's just what I've always done. Um, but that's not enough of a why. That won't sustain you. In fact, um, I've gone through plenty of periods of just being totally burnt out uh, with what it is that I do because it's a hard world to live in. Um, performing arts or recording business or any of that, it's, it's a hard world to live in. There are a lot of no's, a lot of closed doors. Um, and you can, you can burn out really quickly if the only answer I could give is that you know, it's just what I've always done. Um, so it has to come from somewhere deeper than that. And um, so I, I really guess that my answer to that question would be because I feel like God has made me uniquely for, for this. Um, I have in my bones my entire life felt a love and a connection with music. Um, country music is more of a, um, I, I, I do some of that mostly because of the connection that it has made with me. Um, in fact, I, I feel like I found the Lord, uh, through my journey doing classical or classic country music with my granddad. And, um, I started to question, okay, what are these, some of these words that, that we're singing or what are some of these old hymns, you know, that you turn into um country songs and if you ever went to a country concert it was always country and gospel so I started kind of making a connection with the words of some of those music um and I feel like I got my connection that way where I started to really question really open up my heart and really consider um consider the Lord I don't really know any other way to put that um I've got a big long story of my of my uh, walk with Christ, which we don't really have time to do all right now. But the country music played a huge part in that. And so, um, when I was in my teenage years, I felt like God was calling me to something deeper with Him, and I kind of put away the country music for a really long time. And I did a deep dive into worship music, a lot of contemporary worship. And I did that for years and years and years until I felt like, you know, God was calling me back to my roots. And that's when I started picking up the classic country again. I started doing some of the old gospel favorites and I started really connecting with the God of my childhood um, along with, you know, this, this sort of um, just in my journey with him, how we grown. He was reconnecting me to my youth and, and those small ways that he was able to um, kind of get through to me as a child. So my why then would have to be because I feel like he's propelling me forward in this direction. I feel like 
Um, he's giving me words to write. There are things that, that I've written that I'm just like, I look back and I'm like, there's, I'm not smart enough <laughs> to have written this, you know, like, yeah. you know, like, how did this come across this way? Or like, wow, you know, this, this fleeting thought, you know, I wrote it down and this, this next fleeting thought was here. And it's just like, no, I did not think it through. I could not in my own capacity have written some of the things that I've written. And so I know that he is driving the bus, that he is um, blessing the direction of my life right now. And I just want to be where he is. I just want to be where he's moving. If I ever felt like I was performing or singing or doing something and I feel like God's not part of it. And you can, you can tell that, you know, you can tell when the, when the flames flickering out. You know, I don't want to be there anymore. I don't want to be doing that. I want to be where God is alive and moving. And um, so there's been a whole bunch of different, you know, little course direction changes along the way. But one thing that's always been constant has been the music and the writing. Um, so, I mean, that's, I, I guess that's my biggest why. I just want to be where I feel like he's moving. God will use your, your, your passions. Sometimes people wonder, oh, God, I, God, I don't know what my purpose is. Wrapped somewhere in your passion is usually your purpose. There's a reason that right. you loved music and now you're doing music. And sometimes there's some people, they've had passions for all their life and they've never had, they just felt like they never had the opportunity or just they kind of let it go. That may be what God's purpose is for you. You know, maybe your purpose is, mm -hmm. is to is is in the arts of some way, music, painting, sculptures, whatever. Yeah. And somewhere within that, you'll find your passion if you seek God for it, because there comes a time of surrender that mm -hmm. says it's not all about me; it's about you. And you said, "God, I need that's right. To that's surrender. right." Fact, uh, go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. I was just going to say, I, I, you know, I have a, a couple of projects that I started with. Um, I got connected with Dennis and Leslie McKay, and they have been amazing mentors, and they helped me kind of get started. But even in those first couple of, of projects that we put out, I felt like I was just, just starting to scratch the surface of what God was wanting me to do. And so there was still a little bit of a a me component in there. I was just like, oh, cool. I'm going to make these albums and people are going to start knowing who I am. And, you know, and, and I was just like, it was still a little bit, still a little bit about me, you know? And um, I, I think that over the course of the time, uh, it was probably about three, three years into the journey. I started looking around and going, why do I want this to be about me? <laughs> I don't even, I don't even want that kind of attention. And, and, and I'm just, I'm just a blip in God's story, you know, he's going to use me, but I'm just, I'm just a tiny little moment, a tiny fraction of time. Um, and he's the bigger picture. He's the big story. And he's the one who needs to be getting all the glory because he's eternal. He's constant. And so, you know, that's when I've, I've just really started shifting my focus. And it's just like, I want to build an album that's not about glorifying my name. It's about yeah. glorifying his name. I want to build an album that that allows me to be able to walk into a church and share my testimony not just some really clever songs yeah. i want to walk into an uh, a church and be able to share a cd or a project that yeah it's got my voice on it it may have my picture on it but the story the the tale of the, of the project is all about him that it takes you from from a moment of of gratitude and thanksgiving all the way into the holiest of holies where you can stop and take a moment and just be near to God and that's that's really what I feel like my main purpose is now it's like I've got to get away from that idea that I want to be somebody that people know that they know my name they're going to remember me that I'm going to be some sort of like legend or whatever and that's hard to get over when your 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 childhood dream has always been performing you know yeah. always been on a stage when you've always been you know and and the world culture will teach you, okay, if you're going to be in the performing arts, well, this is what you got to do. You got to do this, this, and that, and then you'll have made it. But if you don't do this, this, and that, well, it's just a hobby, but that's just not true. That's just not true. My, my primary goal has to be 
to do what he wants me to do. There's a, there's a word I feel that I need to share with, with the audience about something in which uh, Jessica was speaking of. Something that's real key is she said when she stopped singing just country and she started focusing on worship, you can sing songs and your heart be so so with with mm -hmm. God, but you can't worship him with with your heart not right because. Right. God is a spirit. We worship him in spirit and in truth. And once it becomes worship, God says, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't come to the throne room with that stuff in your heart. But That's God, right. I love you. It, it's not that he doesn't love us any differently. It's our sin and our, our unbelief that keeps us from true worship. Once we surrender and say, now I'm all yours, he goes, that's where I needed you to be. That's right. Some of you uh, go to go to concerts all the time and you go, oh, I've, I've heard Jessica Horton and I've heard this guy in this quartet and we got <laughs> blessed. We, got, we really got blessed. Look, it must be God. My hand's <laughs> moving. Hallelujah. And, and you know, you, 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 <laughs> oh, went through, you went through the whole motions because it's toe tapping and happy, happy, happy. But when you start yeah. going, I surrender all, I surrender all, mm -hmm. all to thee, my blessed savior, I surrender all. I, I, I had somebody, uh, an actor one time that said, I grew up in church, but when they started singing that song, I didn't sing it, I kept my mouth shut. That's right. Because I mean, I I've had plenty of songs that I'm just like, mm, I can't mm. honestly say that line, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time trusting right now. Like trust and obey like, Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause that Lord's <laughs> ministry to you. That, that's that heart of worship. Some of you are playing church. Some of you are going to concert after concert and, and, and you need, and you need surrender. And I believe this message yeah. today was for you. Whenever you're hearing it, you could be hearing it now, at, at, shortly after the recording, or six months, a year from now, five years from now. And they go, "How did they know that today?" I would. That's the way I turn. That's mm -hmm. my heart when I turn this on. I felt in my spirit that you, you know who you're talking. You're look. You're looking at this right now and going, "Oh my God, that's me right there." It's time for you to surrender. It's time for you to give yeah. it up and say, now it's all yours. See, God knows your heart. It's up to us to hear his voice. So he knows your heart and says, now that you surrendered, now I could show you my purpose. I couldn't do yeah. that before because you weren't ready to hear the truth. But and God know. always knows those things. He knows yes. where we need to be along the journey. And I mean, I can look back now and go, oh, I can see exactly yeah. what he was how he ordered those steps how he how he okay here's an inch of growth here here's an inch of growth here yes. to get me where i'm at now and i'm sitting here thinking man what greater things are to come right you know right we're sitting here right here and there's more to come and i know i know that that i'm awake now and i wasn't awake before you know what i'm saying yes. spiritually and I look back and say, oh, how much better I could have been if I would have just not, I didn't have to be in that desert that long. I should have surrendered right. a lot, a, a lot sooner than I did. This message is for you. This, this is important that you heard it. Yeah. Jessica, I believe that this, that you were here for a moment and a time such as this, that God <laughs> would use you this way. And I believe that God is going to, in this interview, speak to a lot of people. Now, down below, I, I, I've got I've got her albums. You can buy her albums. You can find out what concerts she's going to. You can see where she's going to be at, and uh, that's all great. And I want you to 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 go to those and get her product, do those things. But I also want you to take the time right now, when this interview is over, to pray for Jessica Orton. Well, thank you. Pray for her ministry. You know, folks, she needs your prayers and you need the practice. You know, you need, you need to be praying, folks. And you go, I don't know what to pray for. I just told you what to pray for. I pray for Jessica Horton right now. And that God would 
continue oh. to use her and bless her in a great mighty way. Thank you, Jessica, for, for being obedient Thank you. And, and saying yes to my interview. Thank you so much. <laughs> You, I, I know that was kind of a, a hodgepodge interview and I was all over the place, but I do feel like yeah. God always orders. Oh, things. yes. Uh, so yes. hopefully something in there has spoken to, to you guys out there. And I just appreciate you having, making time for me. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us and keep coming back if you would for some more morning moments. <laughs>